Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day the Lord has given us together. Today, we will be meditating upon the true light that never runs out and always illuminates its surroundings. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. John chapter 1 verse 9. The true light which gives light to the everyone was coming into the world. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. Bring your candles to the Lord to be lit to enlighten the paths of our lives and the lives of others around us. The wise men saw the birth star which led them to the place of the birth of Christ the Lord. The shepherds saw an amazing light which brought the good news to the earth. The baby was born 2,000 plus years ago and has shown his light from the wisest to the dumbest. He showed his light from riches to the poor. He showed his lights to people from far and near. His arrival brought the light to everyone in every class. From the kings to the shepherds, Jesus is light personified. Just as the sun gives light to freely to everyone in the world, Jesus gives spiritual light to anyone who looks to him. The apostle Matthew calls Jesus a great light that shines upon a purple sitting in the darkness. Matthew chapter 4 verse 16. Jesus gives light to everyone by giving them not the choice to accept him and not forcing them to receive him. If we receive him, we will be rewarded with our souls and light in them. And we'll have hope for the life we are living and the one with, which will be internal. This Christmas, let the light come into our darkness or dimness. And let the Christ be born into us to ignite this light in our hearts. Let him start a bonfire that will burn brightly for all to see. John the Baptist served as the forerunner of Jesus to announce his coming. He faithfully pointed to Jesus Christ. False ministers always point to someone or something other than Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, he produced a light that never goes low. The light he produced on the cross had produced the light for the whole world. The light which always brings out of the darkness, unbelief, and lie and eternal death. It started from Genesis and ended on the cross where he left the light for the whole world to continue and to grow. Without light, there is no life at all. He left the light for us to take in our hearts and illuminate it in this world. This is our job to continue to spread his light throughout the world. Have you ever imagined that when you lit the candle, it starts producing its light around itself and then continues with no to very less time? It illuminates the room so everyone can see that candle and will stay in the light. This Christmas, the Lord wants us to live like a candle which is kindled by Him to show His light as far as we go, or as far as He takes us. So take an opportunity and become a source of light in the darkness of others. We are not built for ourselves, we are built to other people's lives and be lit for others. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, thank you for another beautiful day in my life. Thank you for giving me a chance to become a source of the light and joy in my own life and the life of all who can see me. Lord, fill me with the glory and your light so I can become the source of light in others around me. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we will talk to you tomorrow.